Hi, I'm Frank Raddus, the expert in residence here at Definition 6 in Atlanta, Georgia. And welcome to the Def 6 Coffee Break. Grab a cup, because today we're talking to Jeff Katz, the Chief Operating Officer of Definition 6. When a client comes to engage with Definition 6, where does that process begin, and how is it manifested throughout the company? So I think it begins when we have an opportunity and um, our prospect, our client, and us, we all start linking into each other. <laughs> and um, so you, you really start to know the people that you're working with. And that progresses you know, to, an, to an opportunity. And you identify an opportunity. And this is for existing clients and people that we haven't done business with before. And so we start to get a feel of what their goals are. And then that's when we bring our people in all together, collaborate, and come up with those big ideas. And the big ideas, you know they're big because they have so many legs and can go in different areas. And then the client is, you know, feels very comfortable with, with these big ideas, the multiple different ways they can engage their clients, whether it be video, whether it be, whether it be social, whether it be experiential, across, whether it be a, an application, mobile, et cetera, you know, every different way that we engage uh, with their clients. And so we take it right from that, that big idea and help them understand how those different things can be, how they can be executed. Is a client more likely to come to you and say, I want a video solution, or I want a social solution, or are they coming to you and saying, I want a solution, come back to me and tell me what I need to do to get it done? So we love, we love the clients that say, we want to improve our engagement with our customers. And because that allows us to use all the, all the tools in our tool belt and really think about it and then help them say, all right, we should start here, move, move in this direction. That, I mean, every agency loves that. I mean, that's the best. You get, really get to think and um, th those are really fun. But most, most cases they say, all right, we're thinking about something like this to engage our, pro our, our customer. And we think that uh, a video execution or a mobile application or a site or something like that is, is, is the uh, solution that we'd like you guys to think about. And regardless of where it starts, you know, we extract what that end game is. And so if it's engagement, we start to look at the personas, that who their customers are, where they should be, so that they can have that content and meet their customers where they are regardless and in the right context. Sometimes um, the clients are right on target and we end up executing exactly what they they came to us for. Otherwise, other times we collaborate and end up taking a different approach. You know, I, I would ask what the strengths are of Definition 6, but there's such a diversity of, of strengths in this company. I mean, you have a public relations group, you have a global marketing team, you have social, you have video, you have production, you have post-production. So is there any one area of expertise that you seem to see from the outside right now that the clients are coming to that they're asking the most for? Without a doubt, it's about content. Regardless of when what I, the content is, yeah, whether it's... I mean, it's, it's they, I, marketers uh, understand now that it's, it's not all advertising, advertising. It's, it's about the engagement and it's about content. And so, for example, uh, at the Super Bowl this year, they show, you know, we all know, we all love to watch the commercials and vote and click if it's a C minus or an A plus and, and everything. But uh, both in the Super Bowl experience and outside, they had all of these different experiences that led to generate content. Uh, for example, people that were in the stadium, one, they were given these hats with LEDs on, on them and that were controlled by the field and at halftime they were part of the light show. And the other one that I found very interesting was that after the game, you could go to a link, find yourself, and tag yourself. And of course, that was all uh, promoted, built out, and sponsored by one of the brands. You know, if you talk about the Super Bowl. Let's talk about last year's Super Bowl, when it almost seemed like the words real-time marketing became a part of the lexicon. Um, where do you think we stand today? Uh, in terms of what real-time marketing was supposed to be and where it is now? It kind of gets to buzzwords 
that happen, and they, they I, I like to watch what buzzwords can go away, and they either fade away because they didn't materialize, or they fade away because they're just part of, of business and marketing strategies. And I think we're close to that with real-time marketing for the, for the, uh, ver for top brands, because that is the content, and they have to engage with their clients constantly, and that is real-time marketing. And you have to have either in-house or a partner like ours that has the capability to to turn up video to to uh, help them with their uh, interaction strategy with with tweets, Facebook, etc different things like that. So, you know, I, I think that the brands are really, they now understand it's not a special thing. It's engaging and having a constant conversation with with their consumers. So in as part of the conversation, it requires a listening. You, it requires that you listen and that you react to what you're listening to. And a lot of brands have made big mistakes Huge. in the last year. So is it because they're not listening? or because they're, they're working too hard just to try and achieve an end, to, an end game? I think listening is, you know, is an attribute of the problem. Uh, I think they're uh, reacting and not ready. And so you know, if they have a good strategy, if they, they plan that out, and you can't plan things like you mentioned the blackout at the Super Bowl a year ago, um, you, you can't plan for that. But you can, have a, you can have a good strategy, and you can have people ready to jump when there is an event like that. This has been another edition of the Def 6 Coffee Break. See you next time.